Welcome back. We've made it to Arlbot, the spa resort where hopefully Helena is staying. Looks pretty nice. A little bit neglected, I guess. A bunch of weeds on the tiles here. Nice fountain, though. That is so beautiful. Kate's impressed, anyway. Let's go inside. Good morning, sir. Good day to you, ma'am. And welcome to the Hotel Kronsky. I don't expect you've made a reservation, have you? Well, no matter. We've got a few rooms left with a sea view. By far the best on offer. Uh, well, actually I wasn't counting on staying in Arrowbad. I see. It's like that then. Uh, so, what can I do for you? Something tells me um, he's a bit starved for customers. Seems very eager to get us to stay. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer sent by a major American law firm to take care of a delicate inheritance case. Ah, very pleased to meet you, Miss Walker. Felix Matana at your service. I'm the receptionist of this establishment. Between you and me and the brick wall, I often play the role of general manager here, too. Ah, these days the place ain't what it used to be. This hotel is truly incredible, though. It's kind of sumptuous in an old-fashioned way. You should see how sumptuous our suites are. For more than a whole century, they have accommodated some of the world's greats. Would you like to take one? No, it's okay, thank you. I'm not staying. I've got to get away. I'm expected. Right. Well, in that case, I don't see what I can do for you. He just really wants to surrender room, I guess. That is his job, so can't blame him for that. I want to meet someone who lives here. That's very inconvenient. None of my customers said they were expecting someone. You can't just turn up like that. We've got a very strict policy. In this day and age, the hotel ain't too open to, um, impromptu visits from any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Uh, please. I absolutely must speak with her. It's very important. If it was that important, all you had to do was ring the hotel. People come here to rest, you see, to get away from the world, which ain't turning so good these days. Uh, don't let me keep you. Good day to you, ma'am. Honestly, if I could have called, I would have called, but I couldn't. So please, can you bend the rules just a little, sir? Ma'am, in this hotel, we don't bend nothing for no one. With respect. Okay, that's inconvenient. Guess we should have asked somebody for the phone number instead of just showing up here. Sir, I really could use your help. I'm sorry, ma'am, but my helping hand only serves my hotel guests. Well, let me just say that by helping me out, you'd also be helping out one of your very own guests. Ma'am, I'm not to be wound around anyone's little finger, you hear? I don't think we're talking him into uh, anything. I guess we could ask him about Hans. Kind of a long shot at this point. Could you tell me if a certain Hans Vorlberg has ever been here? On a spa holiday? Uh, yes. Yes, that's it. I'm sorry, but our hotel register is strictly confidential. Come on, please. It's not like it's a state secret you're telling me here. And if I just let you consult our register, uh, what am I going to get out of it? Uh, my eternal gratitude? That's just what I was expecting. Adieu, as the French say, madame. Yeah, not much of a bargaining position here. Too bad we gave away all of our money to the people on the barge. Usually I travel on this fantastic mechanical train. Haven't I seen some kind of a station here? Is it possible to arrive here by train, then? Of course it is. What were you suggesting? Uh, if I'm not very much mistaken, that's your air balloon I see getting blown to shreds in the hotel garden. Oh, yeah, the airship. That's a bit different. I just borrowed that to make the round-trip journey to Arlbad. Whatever. 
You better think about getting it off there and quick. With that contraption on my lawn, some of my clientele might have a relapse. Sure. I'm actually, we didn't see a station. You can, if you explore outside more. There's just not really any point in going there at this moment. It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time I met the greatest of the great. Now I got my memories. Sweet memories. Okay, good for him. Well, thanks anyway. At your service, ma'am. Seems like he's watching soccer, or football, as it's properly called. Looks like this is real footage. wonder if anyone knows what game this was. Okay, but he doesn't seem willing to let us in. And we can't call him because we don't know the number. We can't just call 411 to get it. I don't know if that works in Russia anyway. Um... Let's see... Well, maybe we can just go in anyway. We don't need your help. The door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Okay, I guess we do need his help. Yes! Yes! Go! He's excited. What's through here? Oh, it's just a closet. Um... We found a bottle of detergent, I guess. And that is it. Not very... helpful. Let's see... I guess we need to... find a distraction for him. If we want to look at the hotel registry to see if Helena is here. And maybe the detergent can help with that. Fountain bubbling over should be pretty distracting, I would think. Okay, one ruined fountain. It's kind of a shame, but, you know. Well, he's not going to see it with this giant curtain in the way. Fortunately, we can open those. He is also not going to see it while glued to the TV like that, so we have to call him. Sir? You again? You're beginning to really overstep the mark. I warn you, one more and I'm going to... But what the hell's going on over there? Why is it me gets hell to pay when there's already too much work to do? Um, should you go outside? Oh, we got the mop out of the closet. That makes sense, I guess. Alright, that'll hopefully keep him busy for a little bit. Well, we can snoop around. Let's see. It's the registry, I guess. 
Can't use the phone? Can't look at the registry. Let's see, this goes back pretty far. 1980. Oleg Kizim, Leonid Markov, Ivan Strekolov, Helena Romansky. There we go. 1981, day visitor. Not very helpful. She was here like 21 years ago. Um, maybe something else though. Hans Vorlberg. Looks like he stayed here for four years from 1981 to 1985 as a resident. And his code was 1478. Okay. Dmitri, Nikita. Oh, Helena Romanski again. This time as a resident, and there's no departure date locked, so maybe she is still here. And her code is 1270. Might be important, so let's try to remember that. Anything else of interest in here? Wonder if Hans ever, ca ever came back. Or any famous Russians were here? Nothing so far. Oh wow, they've had very few guests. This jumps from 1996 to 2002 over here. Nobody else that looks familiar though. Wow, looks like they have one permanent resident and two day visitors at the moment. That is not very uh, busy then. At all. No wonder he's so desperate for us to get a room. Everybody else has left since the late 90s. Interesting to see that Hans was here at some point. I guess he's not a resident. A brochure, by the looks of it, of the hotel. Edinor Hotels, Kronsky Hotel. The Edinor Hotel Group is a hotel chain with a long tradition. The first Edinor was opened in Paris in 1928. Now we have prestigious hotels located in the historic centers of each European capital. Each establishment is unique and housed in former palaces, mansions, and stately homes, restored to their former glory and converted into luxury hotel apartments. Edinor hotels are ideally located for capital city exploration. You may discover the beauty of a nation's architectural heritage while enjoying our high quality accommodation and first class service. Your total comfort is guaranteed. Your stay in an Edinor hotel will be much more than a stopover. The charm of each location, with its period atmosphere, will leave you with lasting and moving memories. Furthermore, our gourmet chefs are on hand to offer guests the finest of traditional cuisine from the host capital. We have 15 3 to 5 star establishments to our name, spread throughout Europe. Looks like they have quite a few, yeah? Including one in Amsterdam. The Vermerijk. It's kind of a weird name, but sure. In Athens, Berlin, Brussels, Copenhagen, Dublin, Helsinki, Lisbon, London, Luxembourg, Madrid, Paris, Rome, Stockholm, Vienna. I don't think we are in any of these places, though. This particular hotel is not listed in the brochure about this hotel. What is here, though, is the phone number, 464-33643. It's kind of unclear, but it's actually the phone number to the hotel in France, the Muritz. You might think it's the phone number for this hotel, and that you have to call the receptionist and make an appointment or ask to see Helena or something based on what he just said, but that's not the case. We'll need this phone number later, though. There's also a button. Which I hope isn't an alarm button, because then this would be a terrible idea. 
Nope, it seems to have just buzzed the gate open. Trying to go... Alright, I guess I have to go back before I can go forward. Alright, that should enable us to go in. Wow. Nice place. Big pool inside here. Very classical looking. It's not my style of decor, but it's definitely impressive. Also, if you're swimming here, people can just look in and see you from the reception, which... I mean, I guess people don't care. Um, you can go either left or right. Let's go right first. Um, there's a chessboard here. As well as what looks like a hot tub? Okay. Don't need anything with that right now. Let's see. That door is locked. All right, that's closed. Down this way. Just some hallway. So we can't go any further, though we can pick up a glass. Alright, a crystal dish. It's a glass, come on. Nothing else here, though. No sign of Helena. Let me go over here. Oh, look at that. That's our clearest sign that Hans has indeed been here. Because that looks like an automaton. Hello there. Good afternoon, miss. Are you the hotel barman? My name is James, miss. James, the automaton nurse. I am not a barman. I'm sorry. I didn't want to upset you. If you don't mind, miss, I would appreciate it if you would just be a little more rigorous in the terms you employ in the future. It was just a question. This must be a more recent uh, automaton. It almost seems as advanced as Oscar. My name is Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you, miss. You are not here for treatment, are you? No, I'm not. I only want to meet Madame Romansky. I would be delighted to serve you tea when Madame returns from her constitutional. I don't want to impose. Maybe your mistress won't want to take tea with me. Madame likes to complain for the sake of it. Believe me, she loves visits. In that case, thanks for the invitation. I'm looking for Madame Romansky. Do you know where she is? 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Madame Romansky takes her daily constitutional on the pier. Tea is served at 5 o'clock sharp. Is it possible to go see her? As you wish, but do pay attention to the salt wind. Salt wind? Okay. Sounds unpleasant. Can you take me to Helena Romansky? Not at this hour, miss. Madam will still be watching the sea at the end of the pier. So? Madam knows perfectly well that during this season I don't go down to the pier. My wheelwork goes dicky under the double corrosive action of the salt and sand winds. Listen, you can hear them sweeping up and down the beach and out to sea. We call it the salt wind here. It'll drive us all crazy one of these days. Come on, just make a little effort. No. I'll stay here and make ready for Madame, in case she needs me. She can be so unpredictable. Such violent swings of mood. Yep, he's definitely cut from the same cloth as Oscar. 
Have you ever heard of a Mr. Vorlberg? The name is not entirely foreign to me. Really? You know Hans Vorlberg? That I cannot say, miss. Madam has forbidden me from talking about him and even mentioning his name. Why? Nostalgia, sadness, medication. Call it what you humans will. We never had this conversation, did we, miss? Madam would be very angry to learn that I know, and now you know as well. Don't worry. Mum's the word. Interesting. I wonder why. Do you know Comcalsgrad? I left my train there with its engineer. You'll never guess what. It's an automaton, just like you. There's even a family resemblance. Firstly, I would say that I do not know Comcalsgrad. Secondly, I have never taken a train. Thirdly, the existence of another automaton with such a degree of finesse as myself appears very unlikely. Madam has always assured me that I am a unique model. A gift from a former admirer. Yeah, but you two really do look alike. And you know, I miss him. Why is he not here with his train, then? I would never allow Madame Romansky to leave on her own. It's a long story, but hopefully I'll see him again soon. Such attachment is very touching, miss. Yeah, I do kind of miss Oscar. Hey, we couldn't bar borrow your hands, could we? So I guess that Hans Vorlberg made this automaton nurse and gave him to uh, Helena. Interesting. Well, I'm going, James. See you later, maybe. It would be a pleasure to see you again, miss. Um, going back that way actually just takes us back to the friend of the pool. We did see a gate here, which looks like it goes outside. And if Helena is on the pier, maybe that's where we need to go. Looks like it takes a code. It's not just open, is it? That door is locked. Nope. Um, I guess we can try Helena's code. Is 1270. Darn it! That doesn't work. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? Maybe it doesn't work or she's already outside? You could try other codes, but since those are all for guests that have left, they will definitely not work. So we'll need some other way to get outside. Maybe there's something we missed. Hey, that door's open now. Looks like a locker room. Maybe those two Day visitors that are on the book use that. If so, it looks like they dropped something. Yeah, this is a looks like a an access pass for a day visitor, and they have a temporary code zero nine six eight. Maybe that'll work on the door. Okay, zero nine six eight. 
it worked. Looks like we can go outside now. I guess um, those salt winds are bad enough that Kate just doesn't want to go outside at all. But there is... it looks like a gas mask here. That might help. It is three o'clock. Assuming that clock works, which it probably doesn't, considering the state of this place. What's this? Doesn't look like that works. I don't even know what it is. Um, it's a pretty big resort. I'm guessing the tide would have come up higher at some point, but judging by the growth, I guess it hasn't come up that high in a while. The boat seems to uh, reaffirm that. It's not the only one either. Is there somebody at the end of the pier? I guess that has to be Helena. Wait, we can walk over here. Yep, we can go to the end of the pier. Which, as far as I know, serves no purpose. Looks like she's also wearing a gas mask. <laughs> That's nice to sit outside here. You have to wear the mask. Nice and relaxing. Of course, everybody is used to wearing a mask nowadays, but at least it's not one like this. She doesn't seem to mind, I guess. She's just relaxing here in the gazebo. Madam Romansky? Madam Helena Romansky? Who are you? What do you want? I'm sorry to disturb you, ma'am. My name's Kate Walker. I've come on behalf of Frank Malkovich. Ah, oh, Malkovich, the old son of a gun. Are you one of his relatives? Not exactly. He's a good friend of my mother's. He told me you might be here in Arrowbad. I'm American, a lawyer. To what do I owe your visit? You have come so far. It must be important. Indeed it is. I have very delicate and pressing business to attend to. I have just left... Later, my dear, later. I have a slight headache. This hotel mask, they pinch so. I have to go in. Please, could you be so kind as to call my valet? Your valet? Of course. Okay. That gave us uh, a new conversation option, Helena. So, I'm guessing that's James. Oh, um... You! Back here again? How dare you show your damn face round here! Get out of here immediately! Please, I absolutely must find... Miss Romansky! Oh, yes, I'm sorry. She managed to lie her way in here. Don't matter how vigilant you are, there's always one. Uh, but it won't happen again. She'll be out on her ear before you can say, uh... I hope she hasn't upset you too much. Oh, Felix. Stop being such a grizzly bear. This woman is my guest. She's your guest? But that ain't possible. This scandal didn't even know you three hours ago. Be quiet, Felix, before you offend someone. Miss Rubensky, please. This maniac turned up earlier and tried to wreck the fountain. If it wasn't for the... I said enough, Felix. Please treat Miss Walker with the respect befitting one of my friends. Don't touch and don't swear. 
Have I made myself clear, Mr. Smetana? Yes, yes, crystal clear, Madam Romansky. Please do accept my humble apologies. Very good, Felix. You may go now. I guess he has to be nice to her, considering she's the hotel's only resident. I don't think you can talk to her anymore while still out she's still outside. Madame Romansky? So, is James coming or isn't he? Don't tell me you haven't called him yet. Oh, my poor head. Please, ring for my valet. We will continue this conversation inside, hmm? No, I guess not. Just making sure. Alright, we'll go tell James that he has to come pick her up. the mask back. Hello there. Good afternoon, miss. Do you know Madame Romansky well? I have been in Madame's service since my inception. So you must have seen a thing or two. That must have been amazing to take care of such a great lady on all her journeys, be a part of all her recitals. I was but a twinkle in my creator's eye. Madame required my services shortly after her arrival here at the Hotel Kronsky. Yeah, I guess he wasn't with her for all that other stuff. I'm looking for Madame Rom- 3.30 to- Is it- As you will- Can you take me to Helena Romansky? Not at this hour, Miss. So? Madam knows perfectly. Come on. No. Okay. No. Uh, I guess we can't well, just going, ask James. him. See you later, maybe. It would be a pleasure to see you again, Miss. So that wasn't very helpful. Oh, no, need the... Do need the mask. Guess we'll have to find a way to... get him outside... in the next video.